Robson's greenhouse in Belleville, like so many others across Metro Detroit, are usually very busy this time of year. But as Priya Mann reports, their family business is in jeopardy and could now be forced to close for good. Farmers and owners of greenhouses and garden centers are hoping the governor changes course and lets them open, saying they have a short window to sell their product. There is a farmer here that's looking for a handout, that's looking for special treatment. Kevin Robson owns Robson's Greenhouse in Belleville. The family-run business has been open every spring since 1929. COVID-19 could destroy their season. Only open May 1st to June 15th. Their entire year's living in that six-week period. Our window has been missed. On Thursday, Governor Whitmer extended her stay-at-home order and expanded restrictions. Unlike most states, Michigan deemed greenhouse and garden centers non-essential. We cannot get this stuff out. It turns into garbage. It's hundreds of thousands of dollars that have went into uh, creating and growing all these flowers, not to mention all the payroll for our employees, all the taxes that we pay. Robson says he's not minimizing public health concerns. Just the same as you can do social distancing uh, inside a Meyer store. All of our independent garden centers are set up. They're all greenhouses in essence of themselves. You open up roof fence, you open up side fence. Uh, we're more than happy to follow the guidelines. Robson has 15 full-time workers at 42 greenhouses with 30,000 hanging baskets, 50,000 bedding plants, and thousands of vegetables on the line. Robson is trying to stay optimistic. And I hope that the governor does start to open up parts of our economy. Uh, I hope that we're able to get all these flowers that you see behind me into the neighborhood gardens. You know, we often say that flowers behind the sun uh, is, the, is the number two best health remedy. It's estimated the industry employs 9,000 people and generates $700 million a year. The governor's extended executive order remains in place until the end of the month. Reporting from Detroit, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Such tough decisions for the governor. This week, she said if you're not buying food or medicine or other essential items, you should not be going to the store. The Robson family tells us they worry the executive order will go well beyond April 30th.